Dogs are allergic to a lot of things. Chocolate, ticks, guns. And sadly, most people haven't properly shielded their dog against gun-related allergies. So I've decided to protect my dog Gus from what could be a fatal reaction at any cost. Now, how do you make a dog bulletproof? Me being the cheapskate I am, my first thought was to strap some books together and have that be the armor. But that has proven to be ineffective. So what we need is a light, high strength material that can be as thin as the average Minecraft YouTuber and still stop a bullet. So I went on the good old Amazon and looked for such a material and lo and behold I was able to find a great deal on two sheets of Kevlar. Now the reason why I choose Kevlar is because instead of doing this when it gets shot at, it does this. Yeah, exactly what we need. But then I started thinking. What good is armor when any wrongdoer could just pick up Gus and dognap my precious boy? Like even this eagle in my neighbor's yard could do it. Faced with this predicament, I decided to go with the most American of solutions, which is of course, adding guns. So I also ordered the cheapest gun turret I could find and waited for the slaves at Amazon to deliver me my packages. Once everything arrived, I got right to work adding Kevlar to the vest. But only after I finished did I realize I should probably test this discount Kevlar I found in the dark corners of Amazon before my dog's life gets put on the line. So I got the spare sheet of Kevlar I had and went to see if this stuff could actually stop a bullet. Okay, we got our setup here. We got some Kevlar, of course. Hopefully we'll stop at this. But just in case, we got some really thick wood blocks. So I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna go, but we're gonna try one layer with a 22 first. Uh, yep. Definitely went through. But the wood took it like a champ. So may maybe I should just make this out of wood. Okay, this time with two layers. That appears to have not stopped. So may maybe this is a sign that you shouldn't buy Kevlar from Amazon. Trying four layers. If it doesn't stop this time, I'm never buying Kevlar from Amazon again. Okay. It, it, it went through it, wow. 16 layers. This is probably gonna stop the bullet. Hopefully. Okay, let's see how this goes. So. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, it, st it stopped it at 16 layers. And let's see what layers. That, that would be layer nine, I'm pretty sure. So it, it, it just took nine layers, you know? After seeing the concerning performance of the Kevlar, I was in a tricky spot. I could use the second sheet of Kevlar and try to make it stop a bullet that way, but that would make it thicker than the average Minecraft YouTuber and make Gus look like a walking marshmallow, which now that I think about it sounds scrumptious, but that's besides the point. I would need to find another material to reinforce the Kevlar, something like steel. Ah yes, the foundation of the modern world. Steel is strong enough to be in everything from the smallest of screws to the biggest of skyscrapers. But not all steels are created equal, so some of them have a hard time dealing with a piece of lead being thrown at them at a thousand miles per hour. But some steels can get hit by a bullet going Mach 2 and shrug it off like it was just the average Tuesday. So in search for the Chad steel I needed, I went to the magical land of Home Depot and found this steel strip that was much more expensive than I thought it was going to be, but I had to buy it in order for Gus to be safe, so it was worth it. Then I took it back home and got to work cutting it to size. And... Ah, oh, that is... There's not even a bump on the back. That steel stopped it just like that. I I'm beginning to think if we shot Gus, he would actually be fine. 
Okay, we're gonna see how well it did on the inside. From what we can see right now, it looks like it held up solid, but I, I, I have doubts about the steel itself not bending a bit. Now with everything in the shape I needed, I took off the Kevlar that I put on the vest before and wrapped the steel inside it, using a hot glue gun to keep everything together. Because why not use hot glue in something that's supposed to stop a bullet? <laughs> This should make it stronger, I hope, maybe. I, I, I don't know for sure. Part of it is held together with duct tape. I'll, I'll fix that later, but that is the current status of things. Anyway, while that was drying, I started work on the gun turret. So after a solid hour of remembering my trauma from building IKEA furniture, I was able to put the turret together in a way that didn't include the wheel part. Because who needs wheels when you have Gus's adorable little legs? After I got it put together, it was time to turn it on. And the first thing it did was make this awful engine noise. But luckily there was a button to turn that off. Now, let's see if all the pain of putting this together was worth it. Well, that was... something, I guess. Clearly, this is gonna need an upgrade, so I got the perfect man for the job. This is Kurt. Dentist, handyman, and most importantly for this video, airsoft expert. And he's willing to help me take this turret to the next level. So together, we came up with a plan. Get the turret that I already had, add an airsoft gun, you two please don't get mad at me, and then brutally mow down all of our enemies. Now knowing what we need to do, we got right to work putting it together. Very professionally, of course. So professionally. Remember, there's children in Africa mining lithium faster than you're unscrewing this bolt. But inevitably, he had to leave, and I was left to finish the turret myself. And thus began the most painful part of this video, trying to get this infernal machine to work. The trigger on the gun he gave me was so hard to pull that anything I built would either break or not have enough torque to make the trigger budge. Faced with the fact that I didn't have enough time or resources to build a functioning turret, I resorted to the next best thing. Installing an air tag into the vest so if my dog was kidnapped, I would be able to track them down and have a nice chat with his abductors. And now with all the features I wanted installed, the armor was finished. Please shoot it right. Oh, right on the money. Turn this off. And there is, there is, appears to be a bit of a dent, but that didn't even put a dent in the wood. I think we got something that would actually save Gus. Gus. Gus, Gus, we did it. I made something that will keep you safe from all the bad guys. You can go sh to Chicago. Anyway, before I could rest easy with the knowledge that my dog is protected, there is one more test I need to do. So to make sure this will actually protect Gus, I'm just gonna do a little live test. Okay, Gus, just sit there. We have shot the vest before, so he should be just fine. Hopefully. This will only hurt a little bit, okay, Gus? This will only hurt a little. Isn't that right, Gus? Oh, you're just the cutest little guy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Just look at him. Don't you want to protect this face?